Ceremony is the latest album from the duo Fantagram, released on March 6th, 2020. I'm relatively new to Fantagram. I knew the song You Don't Get Me High Anymore thanks to the Three Days Grace cover. A boss of mine showed me the song Fall In Love, and well, I kind of fell in love. That song is awesome. I loved the laid back style of vocals and the heart of the normal electronic music. Scrolling through my YouTube feed one day, I saw they did a mass upload of new songs. I was like, wait, did they release a new album? And bada bing bada boom, let's review. If there was a song that screamed mall montage, this would be it. Robin Sparkles would be so proud. Otherwise, this song really isn't much to sing about. Actually, the main musical melody kind of reminds me of Explosive from Dr. Dre. Sexy sounding spy guitar here. While Dear God sound like a mall montage, this one sounds like a Michael Bay film where all the main characters are doing a montage in a strip club. I wasn't really feeling this one either, but to its credit, the last minute is actually pretty awesome. I'm liking this one. More atmospheric, it kind of reminds you of the Sucker Punch soundtrack, which is criminally underrated, I'll have you know. Song is about what you would expect, ending your loneliness and jumping into happiness, wanting to bring the one you love with you. It's a good song. Wanting someone to open up so that you can help them heal. But that person is trying their damnedest to resist. This song sounds good as well, more along the lines I was expecting from them. Sarah's performance here is also the best so far. Solid song with very relatable lyrics. Jiving with this one nicely as well. I think we're starting to turn things around because I was getting a little worried. From what I get, she's singing about, you know, you should love me as I am, not how you want me to be. Oh, what's this? A guitar solo? Simple but it fits the music like a glove. Oh, that's a pretty dope synth line going through the song. Sarah also turns it up here a bit, slows down towards the end and really cranks up the heavy. Again, another overall solid song. This song is super short, under two minutes long. Just a somewhat atmospheric transition song. It's cool, but also a little funky trying to figure out what the hell's going on here. Kind of an old school 40s style music to the intro, before the beat kicks in. We have another duet going on here, and it sounds kind of swoopy in the chorus. The song actually pretty much encapsulates what I think of the entire album. I like it, but something just really isn't gelling right, and I really can't put my finger on it. Go into the softer side with this one. It sounds pretty, wanting the time to pass you by, but the time keeps on coming. Sarah really shows what she's capable of here showing real emotion in her words. Beautiful song. I'm getting hints of Enigma in this one. Maybe a little bit more than hints. Song keeps that going to the final 50 seconds or so and totally changes styles and sadly loses me. I was enjoying the somewhat weird vibes going on, but then going back to the more traditional sound kind of ended it. Uh... Title track time. Ending it with a down to earth, somewhat electronica jazz song, really chill. Probably my second favorite song here, which I can really easily see myself revisiting, especially when I'm trying to relax. It does crank it up, however, in the second half, but really not enough to take you out of the zone to say. It creates a nice crescendo that properly closes out the album. Overall, I really didn't feel this one. I think it was missing that one song that really stood out above the rest, that seems like it'd be single worthy. Like an album filled with, you know, filler tracks that are left over from other albums. Good filler tracks, mind you. Vocal-wise, this is some of the best I've heard from Sarah, where his album lacks is the music. Other than in spots where it shines, it's overall run the mill. I kept running back and forth, but I kept coming back to the unfortunate truth that this album is just kind of meh. Thank you for checking out my review of Ceremony. Comment below any albums you think I should check out. I'll check them out. While you're down there, Leave me one of these, please. It really helps me out. Click up here to check out my rankings of the Megadeth albums. Click up here to see a big brother pick up for you. They know best. Click here if you'd be so kind as to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
ring that bell to be notified of any of my future videos. Till then, name's David, but you can call me Fenrock.